This is the plaintiff, John Maglio. He says he and the defendant were friends in high school 30 years ago and recently reconnected. He hired him to do some contracting work. They got into an argument and then the guy fired him. He put in 50 hours of work for the defendant. The man hasn't paid him a dime, so he's here in the name of the little guy who always seems to get pushed around and is suing for the $1,000 he's owed. This is the defendant, Daniel Kriz. He says the customer was very unhappy with the painting work the plaintiff did. He refused to go back and make it right and had to pull other workers off jobs to fix the plaintiff's mistakes. If anyone's out of money here, it's not the plaintiff, it's him. He's accused of painting a friend into a corner. The defendant's father countersuit for $1,850. Money owed for additional work needed, plus missed work. All parties, please get your hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, these litigants were friends in high school three decades ago. The plaintiff did paint contracting work, got fired and didn't get paid, but the defendant says he was a slacker. It's the case of Hugh Stink. Thank you, Doug. You brought your posse here, huh? Yes. All these witnesses or moral support? Witnesses. Okay. All right, Mr. Maglio? Maglio. Maglio, you are suing Daniel Kriz, and Daniel Kriz, is it Kriz? Yes, ma'am. Contracting for $1,000 that you say he owes you in unpaid labor, you are counterclaiming against him $1,850 for having to redo the job plus the people that you are, your employees having to come to work today. Correct. All right, what happened? I had worked for uh, Mr. Kriz April of 2015. I was working at uh, several different jobs for him. We were bouncing around, and I had. Uh, now you two knew each other in high school. Yes. Yes. All right. And, we and seen so each you other reconnected after having no contact. Where at the reunion? No, just okay. uh, through Facebook. Uh, okay. My sister-in-law seen he was looking for a taper, so I contacted him. I do taping and painting. Okay. Um, so you, so you reach out to him, and then we, you start working for him yep, from we July working. until April, and then what happens in April? April comes and uh, we get into a, an argument over the phone that he had wanted me to have left that job I was on to meet up with him to finish or to help him with a job he was at. I didn't understand that I was supposed to drop everything right then and there and go. He never gave me a specific time or so, according I to you, assumed, there was a misunderstanding between the two of you and then what happened? Well, we got into an argument on the phone and he, he fired me and has refused to pay me ever since. Uh, for the 50 hours owed to me. Then he claims that uh, I did shady work at this job. At just at the last job? Yes. At Not one. in all the other jobs that you did for him? Right. Okay. All right. Uh, so how much, according to you, does he owe you? $1,000 for my labor. Okay. What's going on? Um, <clears throat> bottom line is I called the, he was looking to get paid. I said, let me call the customer. I called the customer. She is a real estate agent. She works from leaves seven, eight o'clock in the morning, doesn't get home till nine, 10 o'clock at night. She's re I haven't really looked at the work, I've been very busy. We get there, we had moved sconces away from the windows and patched the walls and it was like a Roja red pearl finish and you can't just tape that and blend them in. You gotta paint from corner to corner. You cannot blend that, you can't because just- Because you'll like see the brush took, strokes. Yeah, we moved Do the sconces. Do you have a picture of what you're referring to? No. Do you have a, uh, an affidavit from the owner of the no, home saying that she's unhappy? My witnesses who came there the and people spent who work two for you. days fixing it all. The people who work for you, right? Right. Okay. So go ahead. Um, and then there was other areas in that same room. The trim was had to be repainted because he had wall paint on the trim paint, which was white. The ceiling paint. There was several different paints because we had been doing work in all different rooms. So each paint can was in each room. Somehow, whether they got mixed up or whatever. The right paint didn't go back on the ceiling like a pearl gray finish went on the ceiling where the hi-hats used to be. So it was like nine spots on the ceiling. I would have taken pictures. I didn't think it was going to come down to us coming well, to people's court. Well, if you decide not to pay a guy for 50 hours of work, it's going to come down to this. It, well, it is. It's, I offered him the opportunity to come back and do it, and he told... To, what was to, the argument about when he left you uh, waiting somewhere? It was about, I called him up and said, hey, listen, John, I need help on this other job because I have seven guys working for me. They couldn't make it. They were working way down in Westchester County. This was up in Dutchess County. He was working across the river at Marlboro at another customer of mine's house. I said, meet me up there so we can get this done tonight because I can't afford to put any more time into this job. Okay. And 
I, I'm sitting up at the job, sitting up at the job. Where are you? I didn't know you wanted me to come right there, drop what I'm doing. Yeah, I did. I called you up, said meet me there. <laughs> okay. I need help. Right. He started yeah. me over the phone. Yeah. Were you uh, cursing at him? We had. I don't remember exactly what it was said, but yeah, he. I'm sure I did say. And a few. but why? Why would you say that to your boss, and then all of a sudden you get fired? Like what? According to you, what was well, he saying to you really, that made we you weren't lose really, it? really. Go ahead. Me lose Not it? really a boss? We weren't really boss. We've been friends since we were this big. What, what made you snap? Because of the way he was treating me on the phone. Just that one time? Oh, I've had to do with a lot of stuff working So according to you, he was abusive. So good idea, bad idea to hire friends? Bad idea. Why? Because you can't miss business with pleasure. Is that really true that you can't hire a friend? No. Is that true? Yeah, and lovers either. <laughs> friends and lovers. Ah, interesting. By the way, really smart, going inside the courtroom. Let me hear, who are the employees who went to the home in question? Well, there was three. One's on in vacation in Georgia. Okay. You got Travis Come and Come on Mike. up, Travis. You Should got I, a last name, Travis? No, you can Valella. stay. You can stay with Valella. Valella. Okay, so do you remember hearing about all this stuff when it was happening? I heard about it, but I didn't really know too much of like, did the conversation. Did you know him? Had yes. you worked with him on? I have, yes. So how did you first hear about the problem between the two of them? Well, he, Danny, told me that we needed to go back to a job and finish it because John didn't do it properly, so we had to repaint the ceiling and walls and trim and everything. Okay, so how long were you there doing that? Uh, took about two days. Two days? How yeah. big was that room? It was a pretty big room, but I had to put like three coats of paint on it, so it needs time to dry. All right, I have a question for you. Um, what was he supposed to do in those 50 hours? He was left to do the dining room, walls and ceilings. Is dining room the red room? Yes. Okay. There was a piano room, we called it. There was a pantry okay. hold wall. On, hold, hold on, hold on. He was left to do the dining room, and that was patching, taping, smoothing, painting. painting Correct. And also the ceiling. What right. about in the piano room? Same thing. And any other rooms? Uh, the pantry, we had to, we completed that. He was supposed to fi finish painting it. He never moved the appliances or anything out of the way. He just painted as far as he could get behind them. What, what appliances are you referring to? Washer dryer. Okay. So he, so those are easily pulled out. And he did not paint behind yeah. that. Did you see that? Did you see that the washer dryer hadn't been pulled forward? Me personally, no. No. How about you? Yes. Come on up. Can you guys switch? What's your name? My name is Maciej Kishevich. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that the washer dryer had not been pulled yes, out? Yes, I heard Dan me and Danny, we together took this machine out. And then and you saw I, that he I, had just painted yeah, around I have it? have to paint everything. That's kind of really bad. Did you do that? I, I did what I was told to do. Paint Someone told you don't pull the washer dryer out? He said, it was, reach it takes, back. That, this is a part that kills me because it literally takes another 10 minutes of your life. And But if you're the homeowner and one day you have a repair, you have to pull that washer dryer out and you have to see that and then you have to hate humanity because it's five minutes. Somebody told you do it that way? Yes, Danny, just like with the ceiling I used to paint, he gave me to use on the ceiling in the dining room. And he told me just paint the... the the stained areas, not to paint the entire ceiling. And I informed him we needed to paint the entire ceiling. Okay. He says you told him to do a crappy job. <laughs> you can ask when, any one of my men. I work in very high-end homes. We do not do any well, crappy work. We have a piano work. room. I'm kind yeah, of yeah. supposing that nobody's going to tolerate somebody painting around job. a washer dryer. Yeah. And clearly that wasn't going to fly because he had to devote the manpower to go back and do it. <sighs> When you went back there to that house, how long did you guys spend there fixing stuff? Two days. I was at the same time. How do you figure time. that two days should be $1,200 for you when 50 hours isn't 1000 for him? I'm not, I'm not following you. Uh, I'm not following you. Um, <laughs> go ahead and have a seat. Can I see you again? You're almost done. You have a look like you would rather be on Mars than continue to be questioned by me. What specifically did you have to repair of his work? I specifically painted the ceiling in the dining room. That's the red room? Yes. Right? And then I... How long did it take to paint the ceiling? I don't know, an hour to an hour and a half each coat, but you have to give How it... How many coats did you have to give it? Three. What I don't get is... Oh, so the person's not home. 
But what is what do you suspect that he's not even showing up for work? Because how long does it take to do what you say is the way he left it? I don't know what he was doing when I was wasn't there. I wasn't there. We because were you were job. never checking up on him. I wasn't there. I, had, I didn't have any problems with him. There there goes to. Uh, there's so a whole what do you nother, think happened? There's a whole nother scenario that goes along with the, the, the timeline leading up to this with him going to my client's house and begging them for money. And I have a really good client that I have 85% of my work for. He sat down at their office for an entire day trying to borrow $3,000 just a couple weeks before all of this transpired. Ah. Aha. And how did you find that out? My, this is a different he, client, He didn't right? want to tell me because at the time John was still working for me. And he, he, well, I'm not taking any, I don't know why he did what he did on this job. But up until that point, I had no problems with him. Had you already scolded him for that when yeah. this stuff happened? I didn't say anything to him because I was, because he was still working for this client in homes and stuff. So we were like, let's just not do anything about it right now. See where it goes. Then he was over at another customer of mine's house in the driveway, in the dark, <laughs> waiting to borrow money off of her. And I was like, oh my God, That's when I got the call. a different customer? A different customer, yes. All right. But if you were having those kinds of problems, because that's a little It was a bad, little odd. Then why weren't you supervising more of those last 50 hours that he was working for you and heading over there? Because you had enough to worry about that would make you go supervise. I was busy. That's all I can tell you. I was doing 80, 90 hours a week like I do. I mean, it's killing me to be here because I'm losing money. Aren't you having fun? <laughs> no, not really. Let me give you a piece of advice as a businessman. Do you have a telephone? Yes. Okay. Does it take pictures? It does. It's not just for nasty pictures. It's also for evidence. A, a, a disgruntled former employee who paints just around the washer dryer? Yeah, that's a red flag. I'd probably take some video. Well, that's where it all came to a head right yeah. there. Yeah, I got it. Um, I have a question for you. Was there anything that he did in that 50 hours that was worth it? Uh, the, there was a couple bedrooms. There was like seven bedrooms upstairs. The upstairs was pretty good. It was the downstairs main living area that was jacked up. Okay, so there were bedrooms that he did in that week and those 50, that 50 right. hours? Okay. All right, uh, based on what I'm listening, let me tell you something. This is not a science, this is an art, you know? I'm gonna order you to pay him partial wages, okay. um, not what he's asking for, and your counterclaim against him, zero. I'm gonna order you to pay him $500 net judgment in favor of the plaintiff, not the full amount that he's asking for, because I think that you've proven to me that plenty of it had to be redone. I'm, I'm still floored at the washer dryer thing. I, I'm just floored. $500 verdict for the plaintiff, that's my verdict. Judgment. Thank you. Nothing on the counterclaim for the defendant and half for the plaintiff on his claim. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. I think I should have won the whole thing because the whole place was jacked up. I mean, it wasn't just a washer dryer area. She took that as literal. That, that was my biggest concern, but it wasn't. All right. You went in there. You walked into the courtroom as a businessman and you walk out of this courtroom. How are you changed as a businessman now? Well, I need to document all my work now. I mean, I shouldn't have to, but apparently in this day and age, I do. All right. Thank you. All right, okay. this way. All right, so that, uh, that leaves the plaintiff coming out here, Mr. Paint around the washing machine. What's uh, do what I was told to do. And so you sh say to him, I'm not gonna do it like that. I, my, I, do I shouldn't better. have, you're right, I shouldn't have, but that, you know, he got what he wanted. You think you come out looking okay here? No, but I want some of my money back. It's better than nothing. Let's go to the street. Okay, you know, a lot of people who get in these disputes go to court. There are a lot of states that have labor commissions where you can go to the labor commission and it's more informal, you don't have to pay any money, and sometimes it's faster. You can file a complaint if you think you're owed wages.